Alrighty. Hold on a second. I forgot. I forgot my pants. Cord, right? So we're looking at the cord as if it's on that side, right? That's the net. Nice. This this is the net. Good. Nice. We'll mark it. Net. Yeah. No. <laughs> Okay, so right now I have all the I have all the positions marked in different colors. So we have the red setters, oppos. You see red, right? See red? Yes. And then we see green, right? Middles, libero, purple, DS, opposite, or DS outside. Excuse me. So make sure to pay attention to where you are on the court. Something to recognize right now is who your opposite is. So setter, your opposite is going to be the opposite, whoever is setting. And then outside your DS. Same thing, you should always see different people. So for for example, uh, say Matilda is setting and Erica is oppo, they're opposites. And then, so we'll, we'll usually have Isabel, she'll be our libero, and then Izzy is our middle, so they're gonna be opposites. And then then the DS's will say, say Ashley is our DS and Tori is our outside. They're going to be opposites every time. Serve one, so we've served the ball, we didn't get a point, so now we're going for a serve. Sorry, my my eraser is not. So this is going to be serve receive. Ah, that's edge. That's one serve receive one. Okay, so everybody pay attention. The setter was right here. We're gonna set up the setter first. Okay. okay. So then, who should be standing right next to? I mean, like your actual position. Oh, thank you. Outside, perfect. O U T. That's some big brain moves. So then, so if the outside is here, who's who's next? Uh, middle. Middle, good. <laughs> middle. Okay. Well, wait. What we gotta make sure is that the middle does not cross the outside because the outside is still right front. So there has to be an imaginary line that is not crossed. All right. So that's where we get caught out of rotation if we are overlapping our opposite, or if we're not in the right position in accordance to our opposite. Okay, so we have middle, now who's next? Opposite. Nice, where does the abo go on serve one? Right there, and they pinch in sort of, right? Yeah, so right there in that sort of direction, so they're on that side of the court over there. And then who's next, who do we got? Uh, we have the DS. Nice, yeah. good. So DS is right there, boom. And then Libero. <laughs> and then Libero is me. Right boom. in the back. Nice. So that, that's what serve receive one is. So if you look again, technically the outside is here and then that there in the back there. Perfect. Middle is here to their opposite. Boom. So opposites. All right. So middle, they're opposite of each other. Opposite. Technically this person's here, opposite of each other's. And then same thing here. Person's back here. Oppo's here. That's their opposite. Does that make sense? Cool. So now we're going to go to serve receive two. Dose. So now, if we've rotated one, where is the setter technically in this rotation? Middle back. Nice. Setter is in the middle back. So for for the serve receive, the setter is going to come up here. So if the setter is middle back, where is the oppo? Oppo is front. Where middle. in the front? Middle front. Good. So oppo is right there. So they're stacking on each other. But notice the setter is on her right side because she's sticking. She's still technically back row, so she can't cross her. So technically, if we rotated one this way, who's over here? Outside. Who's over here? Nice. Outside. So now the outside has technically become the DS. Every time the outside goes to the back row, they're technically a DS. So now there's the outside over here. Where does this outside go on to receive? So, so if, the DS, if the DS is right back, the, the, the outside should be... They should be right there for serve, receive, two. Does that make sense? Because the DS is right back, that means the outside is left front. All right. In the last rotation, middle is here. We've rotated one. Middle is here. Boop, boop, boop. So we can either have the middle drop back and help pass, or we could just have them stack here as well. And then we have our libero right there. Does that make sense? So the same thing. We're not crossing anybody. Nobody's crossing. Opposite, opposite. Because technically this person is front row, so this person can be left back. Technically the setter is right there, so make sure these people cannot overlap her. So there's that imaginary line right there. Does that make sense? Alright, so now we're going to move on to rotation three. Woohoo! Now where's the setter? 
Right there, in the back. Nice. Setter is technically right back. Let's just start over here. This is row three. One, two, three. So technically the oppo is over here. So, to, so say oppo's here, setter's here. Then outside is here, outside is here. Oh crap, no, purple. They're purple! Outside. Then DS should be middle. Then technically now the middles are up, so middle and the barrel. Okay, so this is where you are in serve in like the rotation. Okay, so we're gonna have the setter. Setter's gonna come up right on top of the middle over here. So we have the setter right there. We have the middle right there. Then instead of the outside just pushing straight back, we're gonna have the outside come over here, staff. But yes, they cannot cross the middle. Okay? You see that? Then oppo. Take a step back. Shifts. Cool. Do we understand that? Yes. Sweet. Tell me if I'm going too fast or if words don't make sense. So this is where it gets interesting because we run a 5-1. So that means the setter will be going into the front row. So we are at four. So now, so now the setter is front row. Setter is here. Oppo is here. Okay. So now for the row, now for the serve receive, we don't have to worry about protecting our setter because they're front row now. They're over here. So basically, what we can do is just have this oppo, or excuse me. So we have the oppo, and I believe we have the uh, outside. And then, so DS should be over here. <laughs> and then middles. Over there. So that's what it is in the rotation. So technically, this outside would drop back. But now, since we have the setter here, we can just have the setter stack right here. Wait, they can't cross that side. Excuse me. Yes, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And then we would just have technically four people backing up to pass. Do I have to still do the colors or are you guys good? So now the DS is over here. We have the oppo now over, wait no, sorry, excuse me. We have the outside over here. And then, so then we should have the libero here, boop. And then we should have the oppo here. Does that make sense? So now we don't have to worry about covering the setter because the front row. So now we can have a stack in the middle. So this is what it should look like for our, our service C4 when the setter is up. Don't worry, we're almost there. Row five. Whoa. Now the setter is middle. Easy, right? So now middle's here. And then there's the libero, there's the oppo, there's the D, DS, and there is your outside. Make sense? For our service C5, we're gonna have the middle just stay right there. We always want the middle to have the least amount of movement because they have to block every position on the court. So we're gonna make sure they can be at their base as fast as possible. Exactly, 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 exactly. So in this situation, we have the, the middles over here, they're coming over here. We're gonna compensate by pulling the, the DS down here, right? And then we have, what do I have over here? We have the oppo here, middle. And then we have the libero, and then we have the outside. Does that make sense? Yeah. Make sense? Because the setter is in, or the setter's in the middle. The middle is coming over. We're compensating this way. We're compensating coming around. All right. And last but not least, row zero. Row zero. No, I'm just kidding. All right, better. So now, now the setter is right front. Setter, boom, libero. Then we have middle. Middle, boom, out there now. Now we have the outside. We have the DS. We have the oppo. All right. Everyone get this. Everyone understand where this is. Sweet. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna have the middle stay here. They're gonna have to move a little bit. And we're gonna have these people con con compensate over. So the setter is gonna move over to where the middle would be. Setter, boom. Setter here. So we're gonna have the middle over here, outside. 
And then we have... Oppo. Yes, Oppo, thank you. The barrel. Oh. Yes. Or no, no, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So so there's there's many there's many options we could have done. We could have had we could have had the outside and the middle shift over. So instead of having this, we have the oppo shift over. We have the outside play in this scene. Does that make sense? So if we were to do that. Does that make sense? So instead of stacking the middle over there, we still have them stack here. And then we still have the outside from over there to the floor. Does that make sense? Well, we're gonna play around with this. We're gonna see what works well for us. But um, yeah, so now that we've all seen this, we're gonna try and run this today, but we're gonna warm up first, all right? So let's get on the line, do your dynamics. Let's get, let's get through it.